So you get a, a fingerprint of how this image is related to the other images inside this massive group of images that we have. And the other interesting thing about it is that it's temporal. So if tomorrow um, you were going to go log on to the mobile site and put another image into our pool, and we now have 12,638 images instead of 12,637, that, that one image could change the entire structure of this similarity map. So we're, we get these fingerprints of how that image existed in our pool at one specific point in time. Look at this, at this project uh, called the color economy. And in the color economy, what I've done is I've imagined a system where pixels can trade in color. So pixels only have really one thing to, to trade. They have red, they have green, and they have blue. So I thought if you were to release a pixel into the world and, and try to make it uh, into a big capitalist pixel system, how would it be able to trade with another pixel? You know, a red pixel might approach a green pixel and say, you, know, you would look good in red. I've got some red for you. And, and the green pixel might think, buy some red for you, that would be a good idea, and these pixels would end up trading with one another. So we'll take a look at what a render from the color economy looks like. I, I quite often use these types of co color patterns because they're easy to watch what's happening. So here's uh, um, the this, this seed image for the color economy. What we're going to see is we're going to see it break down into larger pixel traders and we're going to watch them trade for a little bit. So you know what a mouse scene is? Yeah? Oh, well, for those of you who don't, we're going to play a little tiny little bit of it. Can you turn the volume up? Um, anyway, here it is. Arpeggios from hell. Ow. Thank you. 